You're going to be all right there, Vince? He's got his eye on me. So I, I wanted to, first off, um, just preface everything I'm about to say with, you know, we were going to put out a regular video. We're doing work on a shed that we're going to convert into a living space and give you some updates on our upstairs uh, our upstairs reno project that's upcoming as well as some turkey things but we decided not to put that video out today um, we had a lot of folks reach out to us and ask about how we're doing with the storms that have come through uh, not only how we're doing but how people around us are doing and so i, I wanted to kind of give you guys a, a update on what's happening um, from east tennessee where we're at uh, I'll start by saying that we're all okay. Um, everyone on the homestead is okay. Everyone on the Yostead is okay. We had some minor damage, just trees falling. That's it. And no trees falling on, on shelters. And when it comes to storms of this magnitude, that's about all you can ask for in terms of, of uh, mitigating the damage. That's all we had is some fallen trees. Mostly in the backwoods, some up here. Uh, by the house, but not on the house, thankfully. So my parents are okay. Nana Jan is okay. Our family is okay. Me, Holly, and Henry are okay. And our animals, all of our birds are okay. Uh, everyone is, is fine. We are, we are literally just outside of the, the kind of the storm, the affected areas of the storm. Um, so when I say, oh, that we're okay, we are, but our neighbors are not. And when I say neighbors, I'm not talking our immediate property next to us. I'm talking about just the town over. The towns literally right next to us have been devastated by uh, Helene. Helen, Helene, I'm not sure how you say it. I, you probably don't have to look very far online or in the news to see some of the images and videos that's come out of... Um, the areas here in East Tennessee and Western North Carolina. And it's really bad. So this, the second kind of major point I wanna say is, obviously we know a lot of people in the area. Uh, we're friends and family with lots of people in the area. And everyone that, that we know, I was able to, to contact a lot of people. Uh, the Kramer Life, they're okay. I've, I've been chatting with Nate and Katie. Uh, Jim and Kathy from Two Turtles Homestead, they're okay. Um, I've kept in contact with them. Uh, a lot of folks in Western North Carolina, Billy from Permapastures Farm, Justin Metcalf, I've talked to a lot of them and established that they're okay, um, that people are alive. But that kind of brings me to the third point I want to make is that there's still so much we don't know because a couple of things. People are stranded. All of the roads just east of us are essentially non they're down. Uh, the entire sections of I-40 to get into Western North Carolina have just been completely uh, wiped away. Uh, mudslides, landslides, the rivers cresting over and destroying bridges. It's, it's bad. Um, the second thing is that there's not, a lot of people don't have power. It's several days since the storm hit this area and a lot of folks still do not have power. They don't have water. There's a lot of people that are stranded. It's a really scary situation. Um, and so, you know, there's part of me that wants to suit up and go out and help people, but you know, I, we wouldn't even be able to. Dad and I were talking yesterday about getting in the truck and going to check on things, uh, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't help. Number one, we couldn't, we couldn't actually physically get to a lot of these places. And number two, we don't want to disrupt the, the medical and emergency services that are already in place. It's really scary. You hear a lot of times the news will talk up a big storm and, and make a really big deal out of a storm. And then it ends up being nothing. That's happened so many times uh, since we've moved here where, you know, I, I naturally freak out about the homestead and is everything gonna be okay? and kind of batten down the hatches and get ready for some horrible storm, it ends up being not a big deal. And then there are other times where the storm, a storm system isn't really talked about or isn't really acknowledged that much in the news. 
and then gusts come through and, and do a lot of damage. Trees fall and bad things happen. And with Helene, from this area, we weren't quite sure what to expect. Obviously, the folks in Florida uh, and the coast immediately bearing the brunt of the storm, that's where we thought most of the, the damage would fall. But that sucker just kept going inland and really just put down a ton of water in the mountains. And that's led us to where the situation that uh, this area is in right now. So again, I was gonna put out a video. I've got a video queued up. I'll probably put it out in the next few days, definitely by next week. I didn't post last week. So I had a lot of people reach out and, hey, Sean, are you okay? We're okay. We're all okay. The animals are all okay. Um, but again, our our neighbors are not okay, and that's uh, that's scary. There, we don't know exactly the extent of the damage, just because it's such a, a media blackout. I say media blackout. I mean, there's not a lot of info getting in, in and out of a lot of these areas, just because very few people have power, internet, things like that. So. I don't want to say we feel lucky or blessed necessarily because there's a lot of people that aren't lucky and aren't blessed this weekend. But I am very, very thankful. I'm very, very thankful that we're okay, that our loved ones are okay, that our friends are okay. And all, all we can do right now is pick things up and, and do the best we can and get back to work. Um, if there's a way that I can help people in this area um, in the coming days and weeks, I'll, I'll definitely do that. And I'll pass along any information I, I have about this, but Vince is just wanting to talk too. Um, but again, I thought it would be worth putting out a video just giving you guys an update of where everything is that we're okay thank you for reaching out I had a lot of people reach out and just ask if we're all right and that means a lot we are we are okay and that is that's really uh, means a lot to us to, to know that you guys are are watching out for us and caring about us but we're okay for people wondering what kind of damage we took it's just stuff like like this that you see here. Lots of trees that have fallen over like this. I haven't done a full sweep of our back pasture. I know up by our house, that one tree that's half dead, a lot of those limbs came falling down into the driveway. I'm glad we weren't trying to drive at the time that they came down. Um, and so I've been cleaning those up. But otherwise, it's just mostly back here in the woods where trees have fallen. It could have been profoundly worse for us like so many other people in the neighboring areas have seen so you know we're we're very fortunate that the only thing we have to deal with is just trees that have fallen over so yeah that's that's where we stand um there's really not much we have to do other than busting out some chainsaws and and clearing some paths and and clearing up some trees that have fallen. We're fortunate. <laughs> That's it for me. We got fortunate. Thank God. Uh, could have been a lot, lot worse for us. It was, all things considered, relatively mild for us. The distressing news is that apparently there's more hurricanes and formation in the Gulf Coast or south of the Gulf Coast that may be coming up again in this area. It's still too early to tell, which would not be good. Our area does not need more tropical depressions, tropical storms, hurricanes. So we'll keep an eye, we'll keep an eye on that stuff and prepare if necessary. But my, my hope and prayer is that those hurricanes die out and don't hit land anyways we've got like i said we'll get back into the regular 
the, the regular rhythm of things. Dad and I are going to be working on that shed. There's going to be more stuff going on in our upstairs renovation. And we're going to be harvesting sweet potatoes soon. And harvest, we're getting ready to harvest turkeys soon as well. So lots to, lots to look forward to, lots to keep us busy. But again, it felt appropriate to just kind of take a break from the regular stuff for a little bit and give you guys an update on what's going on. Thanks for checking in on me, everyone that did check in. Really appreciate it. And until we see you again next time, stay slowly, slowly, guys.